this video is going to deal with the swing lifts. Swing lifts are uh, mainly movement and physiological drills that supposed to work on your flexibility and on your uh, leg agility. So why they call sw swing lifts? Because we swing the, the legs, we don't uh, use muscle force to bring them up and we don't break the movement into two parts like we do in kicks. In kicks we have the knee coming up and the leg stretches away. With swing lift the entire movement is simultaneous. The leg comes up as one unit. So we swing the legs. Why lift? Because we use heaviness in the movement. We want to lift like with uh, like with cranes, with levers. We want to lift the leg as fast, as heavy as we can. Important thing about swing lifts, as with kicks, the leg on the floor pushes into the floor. First swing lift. The, st the back is straight, the neck is straight. As you can see, Danny's arms are stretched to the sides, the elbows are stretched, not bend, stretch. It will hurt you here, it's okay, because we work on our flexibility also on the arms flexibility in this drill. And he just swing his leg up high, as high as he can, as high as his flexibility allows him to, in flex. Flex means the foot is towards me, point, the foot is pointing away. So, first swing lift, the back is straight, the arms are straight, he pushes aside and he swings the, the leg in, flex. Okay, so the second swing lift we'll be demonstrating towards the camera, facing the camera, because here you won't see the difference in the movement between these two. So, the second swing lift, same principles, but the leg goes up to the side, diagonally. Goes As opposed to the first swing lift that goes straight up. The third swing lift I call the bow. You will understand why. I stand most of the weight is on the rear leg and I cross my hands. And what I do is lifting the front leg backwards while my torso falls forward. Falls forward and the arms open in 90 degrees. The front leg is the front arm. The fingers together. Important things about the third swing lift. It's very applicable swing lift. Danny and me will show you in a few seconds. When you do the backward movement with the leg, do it heavy. Let the heel lead the movement heavy, as heavy as you can. Swing your arms to the side. It's not forceful, it's heavy. Heavy and fast. Few applications of the third swing lift. Mostly about throwing. We'll do it very gently just to show you the principle this is not about application this is about the movement very straight forward and from the other direction when you want to unbalance someone if i just come to danny and swing my leg nothing will happen i have to unbalance him to succeed 
I have to unbalance him. Work together. See? I create two levers. I push him here so I can lift this leg. Just a small idea. The fourth swing lift is about coordinating the arms and the legs and both are heavy. You throw heavy punch and you lift the, the legs heavy in point. Lift as high as you can and do it fast, do it heavy and be careful don't do it beyond your capability at first because you don't want to hurt yourself. The fifth swing lift is look like scissor kick but keep your back straight as much as possible during the jump itself. We use point with our feet and we try to tap the feet heavy as heavy as we can. Swing lift 6, 7 and 10. They work together, all three of them. We use flex, not point, we use flex in our feet, keep the back as stretch as we can, keep the neck as stretch as we can, the arms as stretch as we can and in those swings the legs comes up first and only then to the side, open or close. We start with demonstration and then we talk a bit about it. So swing lift number six starts out like number one but then we open our leg to the side so it looks like this. Just arms out straight and just touch your hand. So swing lift number seven is similar to six but it goes in the other direction. Six goes outward, seven goes inward. So again, it starts out like number one, but we twist inward. So looks like this. So swing lift number 10 is a combination of 7 and 6. We do 7 and then 6 right after that. They combine with each other. Start out like this, arms out, and What do we have here? We have the first leg comes up and heavy, right? So we put energy inside the system first. We use body, uh, chemical energy, muscle movement, and we make um, kinetic energy. We transform the chemical energy, our food, to kinetic energy. And then we make, we convert it into potential energy up here and then we let the leg fall down now this energy was converted into like a spring mechanical energy in our body I'm now twisted here I really want to let the spring loose so I move my weight from the rear leg and I'm all twisted into the other leg and now the spring can loose twisted 
twisted. So it's about energy converting from chemical energy to potential energy into spring-like energy and this is the secret. We use the, the tension of the torso of our oblique muscles to create fast turn. And the force comes from the twisting. Pay attention, when we do this tense swing lift, we want to stay stable. It's very important to push up and down simultaneously when you do it. Very, very important, otherwise you can outbalance. The tens, the six and sevens, and the tens uh, swing lift hide very important principle of movement um, and I call it compass when we switch legs in round movement you will see it also in round kicks in backwards round kicks in takedowns all the same this why we can do swing lift but we can also do kicks or we can do all combination. The idea of changing legs in round movement is very very important uh, for combat situations, for sparring situations and for fun situations and Danny will help me showing you. Basic principle, we'll talk about it later, it's just to show you how this swing lift is applicable. I want to bypass Danny. This is the same movement. The same direction because we are talking about directions. One, two. You see where my leg is? I twist. See, one. I can also do it in one. Now I can take him. It's all about leg work, it's all about the dynamic movement of switching legs. And you can dance with it, I guess. Swing lift number eight. We have two versions of doing that. The slow version is very good to learn it. I use simultaneous movement, legs and arms together, backward arm rotation. I swing my leg heavy and fast in point. See, I start rotation with body movement continue still in gongbo and together heavy the quick version is well it's the quick version is quicker we don't do the long opening, we do it smaller. I start with one leg forward and this leg will be the one that swings. See where my hands are? I will make heavy tap. Swing lift number nine. 
this wing lift has several versions of timing and coordination. The basic movement is the same, but it has uh, differences because we are different people. Danny will show you first and I will show you second. Now I will show you and see the differences. The basic movement is the same. I start like this. See, one leg front, one leg backward, gongbo stance. I twist into Lao Ma. I fall with a heavy punch down. It's heavy movement. It's not, I throw my hand back, it's entire torso twists into this fist. Heavy strike down. It's forearm strike. It's a sub joint. And the other hand comes up. So we start here. This is the way I prefer to start. You find your own rhythm. Now I simultaneously twist my arms as if I'm holding a big wheel and the arms turning lifts the leg up. I take the weight one direction so the leg comes up like the weight in trebuchet. When you have the heavy weight pulls the lever that throws stones. So it's very similar if you want to call it the trebuchet swing lift. One. All the body together. Two. Heavy turn, heavy punch. Flex. Keep the back as straight as you can. Heavy punch. Heavy movement. Tribuchet swing lift number nine. Eleventh swing lift and the last swing lift has several variations. We hit in point, we tap heavy on the lifted leg, and there are several variations. We start with the hands like this, in gong stance. Now, variation number one, I pull, and now I swing the, I swing the leg after I pulled. With the pull, I actually pull the leg up by the, mo by the pulling motion of the hand. Variation number two, I drop the elbow down, and when I drop the elbow, the leg comes up. So it's about weight changing. So we have two variations. One, I pull myself into the entire torso, work together to twist the pelvis and swing the leg up. I pull, I twist the torso. The second variation, heavy. I drop heavy elbow down. Elbow goes down, leg comes up. The first variation, twisting the torso. Pull into, it's not one, two, it's one. Very important thing about the 11th uh, swing lift. When you start and stand like this with the hand, the elbows are down, not to the side, down as possible. Feel the inner twist. This inner twist, again, it cocks a spring that will loose later by heaviness or by pull. A few very basic applications for the 11th uh, swing lift. Start, we start with the most simple application. I just want to get loose.
Now, if he stressed against me, so I use the entire body. And I can, of course, combine leg with it. Fun stuff, because this movement is horizontal inwards movement. Remember? Horizontal inwards movement is about grabbing. So just add the leg. Now, pay attention. You don't really have to swing your leg for applications. It's just the direction. So when he hit me, I defend. I go down. I put weight in my arm and I move forward with my leg, just like the swing lift. It's about directions, it's not about the movement as it is, it's about the feeling and, and what it constructs in your body and in your motorics and abilities, inner sensations of your body and, and the inner sensation of the movement. Have fun. A nice drill with swing lifts is doing it with weights. So, as you see, I strapped some weights to my legs and now I can do the swing lifts, like for example the fourth swing lift, with weights. And it's different feeling because I have different weight distribution. And it works on the speed because you lifting heavier weight at the, at the end of the leg. It works on stamina because it's harder. Basic drill, you can do it with any lift. And enjoy. <laughs>